Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your... I haven't started, Virgos. We're doing your weekend reading. This is for November 3, 4, 5, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Your soulmate secrets. So let's see what's going on. Now that's going to be the extended reading. Here we're looking at a situation that you're in. And then for your better judgment, you will, you know, you will know the things that is going on in their life. So you can make better choices, okay? Let's see. Here for the Virgos. Sun, Moon, and Rising. You have here Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is you, Virgo. It's almost like you are you allowed to be prayed by this person. That's what I'm sensing here. Prayed meaning it's like it's not that you're a victim, but the person was hunting and then they found you. <laughs> so that's what I'm sensing here with the Queen of Pentacles. Because you're here, it's like sitting pretty, waiting. You know, not you're waiting or even looking, but this person came out of nowhere. Boo! Like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you're like, ooh. Hey, you. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> of course, there comes danger. You have your nine of swords. When they came into your life, they stress you out, made you think. Did I do wrong? Or what did I do wrong? You have some sort of issues right now with communicating with this person. You're asking yourself though, was it me? Because I was all good, Queen of Pentacles. So it can't be me. That's what you're trying to get away. That's what you're trying to come out of. It's like it can't be me. It has to be something else. I'm not sure what happened. Either you showed so much strength and control that they got you know, well, sometimes the other energy doesn't like that. When you're too much, too strong, when you're being you, basically, some other people don't appreciate that. Because if they're insecure, then they bring it on to you. Okay? That's what, you know, that's what I'm seeing here. They're bringing their insecurities, and it's making you insecure too. And you have here the Empress, Taurus energy. But this is the part where you realize either, well, I'm in love. You know, this is when you're like, oh my gosh, the whole time I'm overthinking, I just realize I'm in love. That's the Empress, that's Venus, you know. Or this energy is also about you are going to give in more. Or this person reach back to you with love and give you some nurturing and caring but that's disney let's face it this person stressed you out okay this person okay showed love and showed stress so this person really really loves deep but they also make you think that you're crazy the same crazy in love maybe i know virgo you have to think for that i mean that that was a good movie though right <laughs> Crazy in love, I think. Is it something? Something like that, right? Is that Mila Kunis? I forgot. I can't remember. Oof. See? Eight of Swords. Situation you're in. With the Queen of Pentacles. This is you. It's like, oh, I can get out of this situation. And then, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I can get out. And then, oh, I'm stuck. All right? I think they reel you in either by material stuff because Empress is giving. This is something giving in spirit world and also giving in material stuff or material energy. And then you find yourself, it's like, ooh, I like this. I like I like getting this. I like this. You know? I like the attention. But remember, this attention from what I'm sensing here is intense. Ooh, and of course, a four of wands, guys. I don't know, Virgo, do you want a relationship? Because the connection is stressing you out. So, you have the four of wands. You guys can be together, but you're thinking. You don't want to make a move, but it's already here. It's almost like one of those connections where you guys something have something going on, but you don't know. Is this a trap? Did I make the right choice? Is this Mr. or Miss Right? Your feelings doesn't say no, your mind says no. Or your mind is screwing up with your heart. You want to appear logical with the situation. You don't just want to go with the empress and just be in love. 
I don't know what's the resistance because you're looking away from the Empress. Ooh, the Magician and the Empress. You feel that they're lying. Or you feel that there is this is just an illusion. They're just showing a good show. They're showing love, yes. But what is the intention? They're showing dramatics, meaning, oh, they give me this or they give me attention, but this and that and this and that. It's like for you, Virgo, it's like where? Why? You know? It's not like you, you don't feel like you're you're undeserving, but there are some times that when they do something, they take it away from you and then put you back away. Put you here, put you there. So it's like a yo-yo situation, but it's a situation that is stable. And you're just there thinking and thinking and thinking. It's like, does this person really love me or they just want to toy with me? Is this like a game? Is this is some sort of a play for this person? Okay? So Virgos, I'm going to continue this reading on what is your soulmate secret? What is going on in their life to help you have a better judgment? Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys again. Bye Virgos!